Brothers, Smash Brothers Pancakes. Have you come to save me from this hell? All I've been eating are dinner now, pancakes. Remember your Smash Brothers Pancakes. Wait, 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 what? Remember I, your I'm Smash Brothers Pancakes. I love pants. all the Smash Remember me! Oh, I think my eyes inhaled the Rainbow Road. Where are we? This is your Smash Brothers past. Wow, hey, that's actually the first time I played Melee with Wizard Hat Pikachu. And hey, that's one of the first newer moves! Ah, and it's just a fire hydrant. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that fucking ha! hurt. So that's what happens when I All swear. Right, but what's the point? Listen, buddy, I'll be asking the questions here. Now revisit your past. Yeah, I guess my head really does hurt from all that. Arr! So a refresher would be nice. Four years of glasses, a cat, and a children's platform fighting game. If the kids in elementary school saw me now, they'd say, That idiot's still talking about Mario Bros. Melee? This was my first console game. And looking back, I've been through it all with this series. From just loving casual play, competitive, looking into the design and history of all the characters. And that all started here. The good old days of... Wait, Mars a boy? Samus is a girl and Zelda's... Both? These were formative years for me. This game basically made me the gamer I am today, introducing me to a bunch of new series and franchises and... But this game made me a fan of series I never probably would have ever even considered. Like, really. You got the impression that every character added was special, which is why character editions such as Snake and Sonic hit so hard. And sure, sometimes there are... Underwhelming editions. There's one more newcomer that starts with L-U that's underwhelming, I'm gonna... <laughs> But the past Smash games, what did I like about them so much? Well, uh, 64 is one I've only really played a lot of this year. It's crude, it's simplistic, but it captures Smash Bros. combat so well. The satisfying, crunchy hits. The joy of juggling opponents. They were onto something here, I guess. Melee I often cite as my favorite of them all. And the point leading in that is mostly nostalgia. The game's fun, sure, but it has some faulty design, you can't argue that. It's unforgiving to pick up and hard for beginners to learn. But, oh my god, it's just so fluid and the movement just feels so crispy. Sure, you have to break those shoes in, but when you're comfortably sitting in them, mmm. Gameplay-wise, I think I like Melee the best, alright? Then there's Brawl. Name me an acronym that has more packed into it. Alright, fine, you win. It was a theatrical silent film starring all your favorite Nintendo characters in Pit. Brawl, in terms of a video game, was probably the best package of them all. Because it actually had more than classic mode. And, oh my god, guys, okay, I'm tired of ripping on this game. You can only drink the same spoiled milk so many times before getting sick of it is just normal. It wasn't bad, it just lacked a lot of what makes people feel joy. <laughs> Truthfully, I was more of an adult, and yeah, that has as many air quotes in the script as you'd think. But I was more of an adult when this game came out, so I enjoyed it in other ways. No, not like that. I mean, I like the design. I like analyzing it in that way. In terms of game design and stuff. And I guess that makes a pretty comprehensive list about what I'd like in a Smash game. Fluid movement, great character design, great characters, satisfying hits, great sound and music, Nintendo history, good single player, and excessive replayability. And I, uh, think you see where this is going. Up, 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 this is Smash Brothers past, so you can only talk about the past. Okay, so when can I talk about Smash Brothers present? <laughs> Welcome to Smash Bros. Present. Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club, why are you the present ghost? Because my game serves as a reminder that no matter how big you get, you'll eventually be put in the past of people's minds. I got bored three words in. Where's that Ganondorf ghost? Hey, how's it going? Hey, this is my section. Bug off. What even is a present ghost? That's just a regular ghost of that. Can I uh, just talk about Smash Ultimate now? Fine. Oh! Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the best Smash Bros. by far. It is literally all the things that I wanted in a Smash game in a real ass Smash game. This game is packed with content, so I will try and keep it organized. I think it's worth mentioning the overall theme of this game's design and why it became the game it is. Hmm, I wonder what the whole idea of this game was. What could it possibly be? I can't put my finger on it. Everyone or everything is here. This theme follows through to mechanics, characters, stages, and options. It makes it so any player can enjoy this game, no matter how good or nest spamming PK fire you are. This begins in the most important part of the game. The way you wiggle your thumbs and smash buttons with your finger sausages. Cause earlier this year, I wasn't expecting this, I was just... But then, all of a sudden a smash was announced and I was...
Smash Brothers in 133 days. And showcase after showcase, it continued to show promise. Directional air dodge, a short hop mechanic, kill zoom-ins. It seems like this game addresses every problem I had with Smash Bros for yuck and ew. Movement feels crisp, responsive, both on the ground and in the air. And this time around, the game was designed with competitive play in mind. You've got mechanics. But it's nothing that's impossible for new players. In fact, it makes things simpler for them. This is something the Smash games try and balance every time around, but I think this game especially nails it. It makes it so good players can get even better, while new players don't have the struggle of doing tilt or short hop aerials. This time around, things are heavily character dependent. And for having 70 characters, the balance is pretty damn good. I feel like each character has something in their toolkit that makes them viable. So whether you're a sortie or a floaty or a stomp into the floorty, there'll be some strength you can hopelessly abuse online. And speaking of characters, just look at this. Just look at it. 10 years ago, this was Mugen. Mine is Goku, except that could even happen. First of all, everyone is here. Even people you didn't think would come back. Seriously, nine months ago, putting Pichu in in the game in the same sentence would make me assume you shocked yourself with electricity. But seriously, going through this roster and looking at who was added when, it marks off different points in my life. I don't think any other game has done that for me. And it's so nice to have characters back in full force when you thought they were gone. The newcomers of this game made the reveal cycle oh so delicious. It was kind of like one of the best ones, even though there were so few. And if you're complaining about this roster, if you're complaining about this, I'm genuinely concerned. Does anything make you happy? Do you eat glue sticks? First off, okay, forget you guys. The biggest loser. It's kind of insane that he was so demanded. It was like he was not possible. And now that he's in, oh, he's a mid tier. Life is astonishing. K rule, he's the culmination of. Make me a K rule moves in three minutes. Man, forget Melee Fox. This guy's got everything in his toolkit except self respect. Simon and who? Literally the last of the NES Nintendo mascots. Now returning to gaming in Smash Bros with more cheekbone than ever. Death came early, Animal Crossing fans. Don't you love fishing bait for 20% off? And whoa! This character's design is disgusting! How many design gimmicks can we fit? One, two, three, hee hee. And he has a macaroni and cheese skin. Well, he just barely passes my threshold of. Eh. And then, Echo Fighters. That's it. That's all they are. Sure, not a whole lot of newcomers, but with DLC promising at least five more characters, with one being a plant and the other being Joker, yeah, you know, I think I am uh, pretty satisfied. In terms of design, and this is hard to word, but I feel like every character plays exactly as you think they would based off of their history and feats. Now, trust me, pick one, I can go rounds. Rosalina and Luma, yawn, boring, slow, floaty, utilizing the Luma to protect herself. Simon, Richter, Castlevania Simulator. Roy, <laughs> trick question. I have the same answer for 10% of the roster. Excels in swordplay on stage, can be killed early, but can kill you quite quickly. If he's in the air, toodaloo, you're dead. Other Roy, wonky, annoying, resourceful, annoying. Snake, tactical, sneaky, legs. Incineroar. Strong, stylish. Brother. <laughs> DK. Yeah. Mm. I told you, this game not only added new characters, it refined many of the older ones. And a lot of them are in a lot of their most definitive forms. If only had a series to talk about all these minute changes to the characters. And continuing with everything is here. Everything is fucking here. Old favorites, new favorites, and no polka floats. That's not all. Characters and controls are important, but if you have to be forced to play on Final Destination, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go play Freeze Tag on the highway. And this is the reason this game will be played for years to come. These few things are going to give this game years of life. Seriously, between the remastered stages, the wide selection, the thousand song list, the stages are a pure treat to cycle through and play. You could argue there's really not that much new here, but like, how many jungles, trees, castles, 2D backgrounds do you need? But truly, many of this game's quality of life changes improve the quality of my life. I touched on it in the menu video, but down to UI, player customization, and character design. It feels like they had double the time to polish all aspects of this game. And did I just thought so carefully about every little stinking detail? Little Timmy, you can finally listen to the game on high treble. A Christmas miracle. So boom, characters and stages. 
It's what I loved most about the old games, now only better. Now to get to the salty part of the meal. Oh, I can taste it with my eyes. That was just a bunch of cheap walk psychos! Okay, look, yes, the online is underwhelming, sure, but it works. Huh? Guys? Come on. That's pretty high profile for as far as Smash is concerned. I know there's no... <laughs> but like, whatever. Arenas, that's pretty neat, all right? There are for sure needs for fixes, like I wish I could host an arena and be in control of the battles or be the only one in a battle. In terms of quick play, the preferred rules actually have been good to me. As of right now, there has been an update to the preferred rules and they're actually way better. I've really been getting the matches I've wanted. Except for Mr. Tyler that really had the urge to play on on it with items. He is living his best life. Well, have fun. I'm gonna go experience with a kid's called Joy. Sometimes you run into the occasional Windows PowerPoint, and sometimes even Windows Paint. Overall, yes, the online could be way better. But with how Nintendo has been shaping their online and okay, you know that's not really good. Oh, it works. I can play the game most of the time. To go back into the Disney vault for years to come. Um, the vault. <sighs> okay, well, there's no camera mode, but at least the camera in the replays is good. Challenges are here, so you actually have a false sense of accomplishment for repeatedly beating up children's mascots. You even have hammers if you're a soulless cheater. I guess the coolest thing here is you can actually see records. <coughs> You can see records for local and online matches, which I really do appreciate. They are really detailed. Wait, wait, a smash tag. Wait a minute. You're telling me that I can refund all the idiots I beat online into chump change for single player? That's the only thing I wanted from Smash for Switch. And before we go into the thing I've obviously been saving to the end, my favorite changes to games and more is the fact that it feels like games and more. There are games and more. Classic is back, and this time, it's both playable and fun. It would be tiring if it was the same arbitrary song and dance like last time. But here, they give it a certain narrative that shapes the battles you go through. Crom's is all about teams and partners, while Zelda's all about conquering idiots. And I'm not making it up. And the rest is exactly what you're used to. Training, amiibo junk, me! Nobody else understand and multi-man smash with all-star being moved to a more obscure mode I guess the only downsides to all of this are we're missing a lot of high-profile modes here the stage builder event the matches home run contest target test target blast the reason I think these are all gone and that it makes sense is because they added something that was way way better <laughs> I truly believe World of Light is the most efficient and satisfying single player ever included in a Smash game. The goal? Create a single player mode that doesn't take up all of the resources, is long, is replayable, and utilizes all of the properties they have their hands on. That's like more than one hand of things! So Sakurai said, This is more than one hand of things. Introducing spirits. Those are just pictures. You're fired. At first, I was let down by this overworld. But it makes sense by just how much I still have to do. Battles in this mode make use of scenery, character colors, and character abilities to represent characters outside of just the fighting characters. Because everyone knows that while BioRex would be the best Smash Bros. newcomer ever, gosh oh gee oh mine, the controversy of putting in BioRex is c <laughs> These battles are love letters to fans of these series. Having battles that span from accurate portrayals to how characters would fight, to clever references and That's accurate. After you defeat one, you get the spirit of that character, alongside any abilities they have. Equip your main spirit, then add your support spirits, all with their own abilities, and head into battle. But not before you level up your spirits, advance the skill trees, evolve them, summon them. Jesus, when did collecting PNGs become so complicated? But this mode accurately brings characters to life in unique ways that I really wasn't expecting from this entry. I did not think World of Light would be this. At first it does seem underwhelming, but I genuinely love it. It's so relaxing to play through spirits. You can really just pick it up and drop it whenever you have the free time. But you'll need to do a lot of to complete it. And the thing is, I feel like this represents what Smash is more accurately than Subspace Emissary. Smash 64, it all started with bringing these characters to life. It's about making whatever dream battles possible. And I think spirits mode brings that to life. Yeah, okay, I know. This Smash game 
truly has everything to make me think it's one of my favorite Smash games? It's a little like too early to tell, but what do you want me to say? Graphics, sound, music, characters, stages, single player, multiplayer, online. Well, this game is amazing, but it's nothing new. It's basically all the other stuff from all these older games. And that's the reason I like it. Yup. Contemporary media loves tugging on your nostalgic heartstrings to make a profit. Does that cheapen it then? Does it make it as good as a game if it's just everything from all the other games? Hey, it's Cat! Wait a minute, are you the ghost of Smash Brothers future? Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Me too. Lemon Seaweed's dangerous. <laughs> Out of all the dark voids I've been in, this is the most... ominous. Relax. Your trifling has caused chaos. Ah. Timelines are falling apart. What's real and what's fake is crumbling. What, are you the one that set up this stupid Christmas Carol plotline? It's not stupid! This is the future your actions have created. Oh! It's... beautiful! Now you see. Wait, you like this? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't care what form Smash is in, I'll always love it. So if we have to break a few Gokus to make a Sans omelet, I'm fine with it. But, the magic of Smash Brothers, it'll be ruined. Dude, it's just a video game. Just a game? You think games are just games? Uh... Your careless actions will have consequences! <laughs> Hey, I'm back in my own time. I'm home. Looks like my lover Smash Brothers and doing absolutely nothing defeated that god. Guys, and Lax is back. Oh boy, now we can open our presents. I'm gonna chop that one up to expired eggnog. It just felt like a weird fever dream. You guys were all ghosts and there was this god where he was saying something about Smash Bros. I destroyed the timeline, just some weird stuff. YouTube videos. Oh, that's not important. The real important thing is, I learned that Smash Bros is best enjoyed with the people you love. <laughs> no! Yes! Ganon. Oh, that mule went right through me. Incorrect context. <laughs> I guess, par for the course. Now that you're in my past, I'll personally enjoy this. So, this is how I die. Not jet skiing, or skydiving, or winning a cake eating contest. You can't do any of those things. I die by some useless god who's jealous of me. Honestly, not in my top five, but whatever. I'll take it. Oh, I'm not killing you. Enjoy being trapped in a dimension filled with nothing but visual novels. No! No! Allow me to restore order to this world. For some reason, I'm really hungry for some pancakes. Good point, but remember that time we angered a god to the point that he kind of reset the entire timeline to the point where Monica and Ganondorf don't exist? Very weird, but at least it made my resolution list for 2018 and I even got the pancake shop too! Oh, Ken, nobody's dead when nothing makes sense. We angered a god, I'm sure we could find a way to save them, but for now, it's just gonna be you, me, videos, and the video games we do them on. So wherever the whims of fate take us, thank you for watching. It's been a hell of a year, a lot of stuff has happened, and it's hard to believe it all happened in one 12-month period. But whatever happens next time, this has been Alex, and I will see you on the flip side.